So yeah, so that's why my recommended dose for elemental magnesium, meaning magnesium minus the, the weight of whatever the f*** it's bound to. I go for at least. Hey, what's going on? Megan here. All right, today's Thursday, so we're going to focus on answering testosterone questions since it's testosterone thursday all right so we on the reddit make sure you guys read the rules before posting as usual all right so let's search topics testosterone and let's pick this question how much zinc slash magnesium should you take a week obviously for testosterone production um all right so let's see i recently went on vacation and found that taking 500 milligrams of magnesium a day made me feel great testosterone wise during this time I wasn't lifting and was dealing with my girlfriend sent back to America due to passport issues. The fuck? Uh, so my fatigue was minimal and my stress was higher than normal. Now that I'm back in America, I'm lifting again, but my testosterone has seemed to come back down. Though still higher than before I left. I'm curious if anyone has an idea of what is considered optimal amounts. I saw Megan's post that said 600 plus milligram was ideal, but it's 750 better and it's their ceiling like I saw online. I also try to get 50 milligrams of zinc naturally, but will also take a pill form where I will follow Megan's rule. All right, so I already answered this one, right? So that's why I decided to do a video format. Um, and let me just, you know, give a quick recap of my answer, right? So I put, again, optimal magnesium and zinc dosage equals I personally shoot for at least 600 milligrams of elemental magnesium. Keep in mind, I say elemental. A lot of people forget that just because... Uh, a pill says 500 milligrams of magnesium does not mean you're getting 500 milligrams of magnesium, right? You have to factor in the salt that it's attached to, right? You know, it could be magnesium citrate, it could be magnesium sulfate or whatever. So you got to factor that in. Um, and at least 40 to 60 milligrams of elemental zinc per day. And I want to show you guys why the, the numbers are so high based on the research and obviously based on experience. Notice I keep saying elemental, that's different from what you see on the package. Dosage obviously varies based off your weight, diet, and activity level. The reason you want to shoot on the higher end of most vitamins and minerals when you lift is because, and I give the reasons, right? Number one, the more you train, sweat, and have to repair your body, the higher your needs for nutrients, right? That's a fact. Uh, the RDA for vitamins and minerals, RDA meaning recommended daily allowance, uh, is for the average guy. People forget that right not for the average gym rat and definitely not enough for someone doing high weekly volume or frequent full body training so guys stop again before i even go into detail i'm not a doctor i'm not allowed to make these recommendations this is just informational and educational right stick to whatever the fuck your doctor says uh parentheses even though they're wrong most of the time but hey fuck it um so if you're training with high frequency high volume right you're sweating a lot you 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 tearing down your body you have to recover you cannot use the same uh you know numbers or the same dose that the average joe sitting at the desk all day right working a sedentary job is taking it's just common fucking sense basic knowledge of human physiology right you lose a lot of vitamins and minerals especially minerals through your urine, through your sweat. Also, if you're drinking a gallon of water a day, which most people should, you're also paying out a ton of nutrients, right? So my recommendation, again, personally, for me, is start off with the RDA and slightly increase the ones that you obviously, uh, you know, burning through because of your activity level. That's why even if you look at studies uh, that show great effects of, you know, vitamins, mineral supplementation, whatever, they're using higher than the RDA, you know, just common sense. Even if you look at studies on athletes, um, anyway, next, most minerals have abysmal bioavailability, right? Just because you're eating, let's say, 100 milligrams of magnesium doesn't mean your body's absorbing all of that, right? Everyone forgets that, especially minerals. Minerals have horrible bioavailability. For example, we're talking about magnesium here. The bioavailability of magnesium is 30 to 40 percent, right? 35 to 45 percent roughly, right? Depending on, obviously, where you're getting it from. So that's crap. If you take 100 milligrams of elemental pure magnesium, that's even after factoring out the weight of the the salt that it's attached to you're only absorbing 30 to 40 percent of it right zinc is even worse you know the bioavailability of zinc is like 20 to 30 percent right so that's why i like to shoot for the higher range and again not so high that you create toxicity right right you always got to keep that in mind always look at the upper limit um for toxicity next number three the rda recommended daily allowance for vitamins and minerals is set at the amount needed to avoid deficiencies not at the amount needed to maximize growth strength and repair you got to know this guys when i give you the rda amount when i do the studies to decide which one it should use it's based on the minimum you need to avoid deficiencies right it's not based on what you need to have an optimal body for performance and hypertrophy and strength and things like that that's why they tell people to take 600 to 2000 IU of vitamin d for example because that's all you need to prevent oh fuck look at the type up of crickets um yeah i mean rickets guys yeah so that's all you need to prevent rickets 
right when your legs all fucked up and shit um yet we all know that the optimal 25 OHD sound range that's when you have sound range of over 40 nanogram per milliliter um, ideally close to 60 can only be reached by taking 8 to 10,000 IU for most people obviously depending on where you live how much sunlight you get the color of your skin blah 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 all right so they, they give you these pussy recommendations because that's all you need to prevent you know like disease and shit right but they don't give you the amount that you need to optimize health to optimize bodily functions and to optimize you know obviously performance next our soil is trash so eating a fruit or veggie or whatever that's supposed to have let's say 100 milligrams of magnesium more often than not yields substantially less you also got to factor that in just because on my fitness pal or kilometer it shows that your fucking bowl of spinach has 100 milligrams of magnesium does that mean that it has 100 milligrams of magnesium you got to factor in the fact that our soil is so deficient in nutrients right because of all the aggressive farming practices uh next in addition to shit bioavailability most minerals compete for absorption with other nutrients of course so once again just because you're taking 100 milligrams of nutrient xyz doesn't mean you're getting all of that right so you also got to factor in the fact that your minerals are competing zinc and copper calcium magnesium right most minerals a lot of minerals i should say compete for absorption right so once again just because you're taking 100 milligrams of magnesium doesn't mean you're getting all of that right see how there's so many factors aff affecting whether you're actually getting what you're eating reason number six again also most minerals are bound to salt so just because you're taking 100 milligram of zinc sulfate for instance doesn't mean you're getting 100 milligrams of elemental zinc in fact that's one of the biggest ones right most people look on the bottle and they see oh look 100 milligrams of zinc they don't look at the fact that it's zinc citrate or zinc sulfate and then they, take, they think oh look i took 100 milligrams of zinc i have 100 milligrams no motherfucker sometimes you're only getting like 20 percent of elemental zinc so in a 100 milligram tablet of zinc sulfate you're only getting about 20 to 22 milligrams of zinc right so you got to factor that in if you're taking 10 milligrams right on the pill so anyway uh just because you're taking 100 milligrams of zinc sulfate blah blah blah, blah doesn't mean you're getting already said that uh same thing with magnesium taking a thousand milligrams of magnesium citrate for example only yields about 110 milligrams of actual elemental magnesium and of course i put you know safety precautions now of course you don't want to overdose anything because everything follows an inverted u curve you know that's true for anything anything that's good for you follows an inverted u curve where too low is obviously bad too high is also bad you want to find that middle ground that works best for you um, but at the same time you don't want to chronically underdose either else your recovery will suffer keep in mind guys zinc and magnesium are crucial for testosterone levels free testosterone levels obviously magnesium is an electrolyte so for hydration uh, for your ability to recover your sleep lowering sex hormone binding globulin which obviously you know which obviously brings us back to free testosterone but you get the point right zinc and magnesium have too many important rules in the body um, so i would rather be slightly on the high side again not high enough to be toxic but slightly on the high side than be on the low side um, and unless you're doing frequent blood tests for vitamins and minerals there's no way to tell if you're getting enough right since genetic polymorphisms also come into play right you also got to factor genetics so to be safe i personally start with the rda amount and go high enough to surpass the rda but low enough to prevent toxicity and of course lastly remember i'm not a doctor blah blah, blah. so yeah so that's why my recommended uh those for elemental magnesium meaning magnesium minus the the weight of whatever the fuck is bound to I go for at least 600 milligrams because I know I'm losing some through sweat, urine. I know uh, I know I'm not absorbing all of it, and again, all these other reasons here, right? And I try to shoot higher. Sometimes I go for a thousand milligrams, right? But again, consult your doctor, find out what's good for you. Um, same thing with zinc. I go on the high end. If you look at most of the studies that found great results from zinc supplementation on athletes and wrestlers and things like that, they use a high dose, you know. Um, so again, do what works for you, but just know that being slightly higher than average yet below tox toxic levels is better than being beneath those levels anyway i hope this helps uh if you have more questions post them on the reddit and, and i'll take a look at them and decide whether i should make a video or not remember read the fucking rules before posting so many of you guys just post without reading the rules i'm gonna start blocking you motherfuckers right read the rules before posting so that we don't have too much trash on the reddit all right and also don't address your questions to me address your questions to the whole community this way if it's a question that i've answered before all the people will come to the rescue and answer. And if I feel like the video warrants, uh, if I feel like the question warrants a video, then I make a video, right? But don't ask me questions on the fucking Reddit. Just post it to the community. I got other things to do. All right, guys. Hope this helps. I'm out of here. All right, guys. Don't forget to like or share the video. Subscribe and hit the bell. And buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. 
also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of a Lord. Or you could just buy the share at full price. Alright guys, I'm out of here.